triple step into the chilling narrative of Bobby Joe Long, a figure whose crimes would come to haunt an entire community. Bobby Joe Long, also known as the classified ad rapist, was a notorious serial killer and rapist who terrorized the Tampa Bay area in Florida during the 1980s. One of his most infamous crimes was the murder of 22-year-old Michelle Sims in May 1984. Here was 1984, and Tampa Bay was a city on edge. A wave of fear had gripped the community as a series of rapes and murders, all bearing a chillingly similar pattern, remained unsolved. Unknown to the authorities, the man responsible for this reign of terror was Bobby Joe Long. Michelle Sims, a 22-year-old woman, lived in the Tampa Bay area. She was an aspiring model who had recently moved to the city, hoping to launch a successful career in the industry. Friends and family described her as vivacious and full of life. Michelle Sims had been pursuing her modeling dreams with determination and enthusiasm. She was last seen on the evening of May 27, 1984, leaving her apartment to meet a potential photographer for a photo shoot. Unbeknownst to her, Bobby Joe Long had responded to a classified she had placed in search of modeling work. Long lured Michelle into his vehicle under the pretense of taking her to a photo session. However, as they drove, he revealed his true intentions. He subjected her to a terrifying ordeal of sexual assault and violence. Long's modus operandi involved the use of bindings, such as ropes or handcuffs, to control and subdue his victims. After hours of torment and abuse, Long murdered Michelle Sims. He then disposed of her body, leaving the city to grapple with the mystery of her disappearance. Michelle's friends and family grew increasingly worried when she failed to return from her supposed photo shoot. They reported her missing to the police, setting off an investigation to locate her. Authorities soon realized that her case was connected to the string of unsolved rapes and murders that had been haunting the Tampa Bay area. The breakthrough in the case came when Long was apprehended for a sexual assault and burglary. His arrest led to the discovery of evidence linking him to the crimes, including Michelle Sims's murder. Bobby Joe Long was born on October 14, 1953, in Kenova, West Virginia. His early life was characterized by tumultuous family dynamics and a history of abuse. Long's parents divorced when he was young, and he was reportedly subjected to physical and emotional abuse during his formative years. Long's criminal record began in his adolescence. He had several run-ins with the law, primarily for offenses related to theft, burglary, and various acts of violence. He was eventually incarcerated for a sexual assault conviction, but was released after serving only 10 years of his 50-year sentence. Bobby Joe Long's most notorious criminal activities occurred during the early 1980s in the Tampa Bay area of Florida. He earned the moniker of the classified ad rapist due to his method of responding to classified ads seeking roommates and using them as opportunities to stalk, rape, and sometimes murder his victims. His modus operandi typically involved subduing his victims through violence and sexual assault. Many of them were subjected to prolonged ordeals before being killed. His crimes left the Tampa Bay community in a state of fear and paranoia as several victims disappeared without a trace. Long's reign of terror came to an end in November 1984, when he was arrested in the act of kidnapping a victim. His vehicle matched the description provided by a survivor, and he was subsequently taken into custody. Evidence in his vehicle, as well as information provided by survivors, connected him to the string of crimes. In 1985, Bobby Joe Long was brought to trial for the rape and murder of Michelle Sims and the abduction of Lisa McVeigh, who managed to escape and provide critical evidence against him. Long was found guilty of eight counts of first-degree murder and numerous other charges. He was sentenced to death for his heinous crimes. Bobby Joe Long, the classified ad rapist, is a chilling figure in the realm of serial killers. Are some intriguing and disturbing facts about him. One of the most extraordinary aspects of Long's case is the survival of Lisa McVeigh. She managed to escape his clutches providing crucial evidence that led to his arrest and conviction. Her testimony and courage played a pivotal role in bringing Long to justice. Bobby Joe Long was convicted of eight counts of first-degree murder, making him one of the most prolific serial killers in Florida's history. His crimes spanned a short but brutal period in the 1980s. In addition to the murder charges, Long faced numerous counts of sexual assault, kidnapping, and other violent offenses. 
His criminal record was extensive and horrifying. Long spent over three decades on death row, during which he filed multiple appeals attempting to escape execution. Despite his efforts, he was ultimately executed in 2019, marking the end of his life. The moniker classified ad rapist stems from Long's modus operandi of responding to classified ads seeking roommates, often using them as opportunities to stalk and prey on his victims. This disturbing choice of victims added an extra layer of horror to his crimes. Before his murderous spree, Long had already been incarcerated for a previous sexual assault conviction. He served only 10 years of his 50-year sentence, which many argue was a significant failing of the criminal justice system. Long's execution in 2019 was a significant event in the state of Florida. Notably, Lisa McVeigh, his surviving victim, was present as a witness during his execution a poignant symbol of the justice system's triumph over a serial predator. Bobby Joe Long's life and crimes remain a chilling chapter in the history of serial killers, marked by a series of heinous acts and the resilience of one survivor whose bravery led to his capture and eventual execution. As we conclude this unsettling exploration of Bobby Joe Long's life and reign of terror, we bid farewell to the disturbing chapters of his existence while acknowledging the resilience of survivors and the justice that ultimately prevailed.